Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to do teleporting and posing in Humanoid Control. For this video I'm going to use the standard Humanoid Prefab, which is available in the Humanoid Package Prefabs Humanoid. And this, this guy will be teleporting around. I'm going to use the Hydra and I'm not going to use the standard thumbstick walking. So to do uh, teleporting around, you can use the standard teleporter which is available on the hand targets, uh, which you can edit with using this button, but we're not going to use that in this video because I want to do more advanced uh, teleporting techniques using te the teleport target. So we add the interaction pointer, you see it here in the scene, to be able to point to the places where I want to go. For example, the avatar is standing on a plane and we can add to this plane a teleport target which enables us to, uh, to teleport to places on this plane. You can add a teleport target to any object with a collider. In this case it's a mesh collider. So if I press play I should be able to point around and walk around using standard teleporting. However, you can already see the car in the scene when I'm pointing at the car in this situation, you see, and you may be even hear that it's not possible to teleport to the car. And that's what expected behavior, because the, the, uh, the car itself has colliders, and there is no teleporting target defined on this collider. So if we point to this collider, you cannot teleport it. So it prevents you to stand to teleport on top of objects you don't want to teleport to. But we want to, do, we want to be able to teleport into the car. We actually want to wear a sit in the car when we point to the car uh, for driving around, for example. So we can add a teleporting target to the car too. So now we're, we will be also be able to teleport uh, to the car. However, as we want to sit in the car, uh, things uh, we need to set uh, an, a number of things. First thing we need to check is the collision check. We need to disable that because our avatar has colliders and uh, the car will have colliders. And the collision check will check if there's a collider in the space we want to teleport to. If it is, then teleporting will be not be uh, possible. And as the car, uh, we do want to teleport into the car, we need to disable the collision check. The, se the second one we have need to check is the target position and rotation. Normally in the plane you want to teleport to the place you are pointing to. But in this case I don't want to point uh, to the place where I teleport to. I always want to end up at the same place, in the seat of the car. So instead of using the pointer target I'm using the transform car, the target and you see that the target transform will appear here. So where we want to teleport to is into the seat of the, uh, of the car. So we just expand it and you can see here this is the seat of the car. So we're going to use that as the target of our teleporting. So we go back uh, to the KTRM and this is our teleport target. We drag the seat into the target transform. We also want to sit in the car, yeah? So for that we need to have an, a, uh, an alternative pose. Uh, I will show you in a minute, but first we have to enable uh, or disable actually the foot animator. Because the foot animator will actually ma make a walking animation with the feet and we don't want to walk when we're sitting into a car. So we need, need to disable the animator for that. So now for the most interesting part, so how do we get into the sitting, sitting position when we teleport into the car? Okay, for that we're going to use another humanoid prefab and we will place it into the seat of the car. We make a pose with that humanoid and copy that pose into the teleport target. I'm going to show you. So in this project I'm dragging another humanoid prefab into the seat of the car and you will see it here now. So in the scene you will now see a second humanoid and actually when we don't use any posing this will be the position you will be ending up into the car. 
but as, li uh, like we said, we want to use this in, uh, to put this uh, avatar in a uh, sitting position. So we expand the humanoid, and here we can see the head targets, etc. And we're going to use that to, uh, to put the avatar in the correct pose. So in this case, I'm dragging down the head until it's on a, a right position. I put the feet on a decent position, which looks a bit right. And the head may be a bit backwards. We can also put the hands in a more sensible position, but as we are using hand tracking when we're in the game, the position of the hands is not imp important because uh, they will be overridden, overridden by the hand tracking uh, in this case. So this is basically the position of the avatar we want to use when we're sitting into the car. So now we have to create a pose from this uh, post uh, humanoid. You can already see in the humanoid control it has a pose position and at this moment it's not set to any value because we haven't got a, a pose yet. So if we want to use posing we need a new, uh, to add a new uh, pose uh, to uh, the project. So we go to the assets in this case and we create humanoid pose. And here you see the new humanoid pose which will we be calling sitting. So now we can drag the sitting pose into our pose field of the sitting humanoid. Um, you can, all, I can now see that the sitting pose is empty. It has no bones defining the position. But when we go back to the sitting humanoid and we press this button, we enter the editing mode. And actually now all the positions of the, the, uh, the targets of the, uh, of the avatar are now recorded into the sitting pose. So the avatar is already in the right pose, so we can disable it immediately because all the positions are now into the sitting pose. So if we go back to the sitting pose, you can now see that there are positions and rotations for the head, the hands and the feet. We can use now this pose to set the position, the pose of the teleport target. So we drag the sitting pose into the teleport target. And now when we teleport into the car, it should have, the, it should move the uh, humanoid into a sitting pose. So we no longer use, uh, need this avatar into the car. I will leave it there because I might be able uh, want to uh, adjust the pose later on, so I just disable it. So now, if we run the scene, it sh should still be possible to teleport around. But when I point into the car, oops, we <laughs> we end up into the car. So what happens here is actually that the colli collider of the humanoid was interacting directly with the car. So the, the humanoid was in the car, in the collider of the car, and there is a collision uh, going on for that. Well, the easiest way to, to uh, prevent that is just to disable the physics of, of the humanoid so it doesn't collide with anything. Uh, and um, if, if you want to uh, have more elaborate um, uh, collision control, you can go to the project settings and use the physics uh, collision matrix and then you can uh, actually uh, assign, I've added this previously, assign the humanoid to the player layer, uh, player layer, player layer, and the car to the car layer, it's already set. So now if we go to the project settings physics and we disable, uh, it's not completely visible, disable the collision between the player and the car, then they won't collide anymore with each other. So now if we press press play, ah, oh, yeah, ah, yeah, there's just one tiny thing. Uh, I hope I can solve it in the future, but for now, you see that the, the player is dropping it down a bit. That's because it's actually dropping onto the ground, uh, onto the plane ground, because this car doesn't have a collider uh, 
for the floor for, uh, it doesn't have the collider for the seat so uh, I should have added it but um, yeah so uh, as a quick solution for this is to, to disable the gravity it will just hang into the air right there then so now again I point to the car and I'm sitting into the car I'm just having my second collider and now I can drive into the car like that so now you've seen you can use teleporting and posing to get into cars or onto horses or something like that or in any situation you want in a uh, flexible way you can define uh, define exactly where you want to be able to teleport to and what would should happen when you teleport to it uh, like uh, get, uh, getting into a specific pose I hope it was helpful uh, showing this video to you. Uh, if you have any more questions on this, you can always contact me on the support basis.